if you want to call him Wendy and a Prosser. Terran is what he's going by again now. Going up against the Grand Master player from North America. Very powerful Zerg, sort of. So spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of the map as the blue Zerg. GM Beast Zerg, one of my favorite players to cast. We have sort of. I always forget what team sort of's on, too. And spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of the map as the Red Terran. Currently teamless, living in the GOM house. We have Terran, Major Light, whatever you want to call him. ZBT guys, I love this matchup. I, I like casting a lot right now because it's currently my worst matchup as a Terran player. It's sort of still on Inferno. Team Infuse. Oh, Infuse, that's right. Infuse, okay. This is going to be a rough... I, I, I agree with you, third degree. This is a hard to, hard to choose on who you want to cheer for. Both these players are... We have a gas first here from Major. Pulling over here. Light. Jonas Cytoplasm. They have a mutual friend, guys. They have a mutual friend. Barracks going down for Major. He's setting out the wall off here. Not the biggest deal. So, I've seen I've seen Azer do this style before. Um, the cool thing, uh, uh, let me explain the build he's going to do. He's, do, he's doing a faster reactor heli, um, and he'll go expand behind this. This, uh, this is what I, I've seen him do more often than not. He might actually just go for Banshees really quick, but more than likely, it's just going to be a faster reactor heli, and, and then he's going to expand behind that. I saw him do it twice yesterday. A very powerful build. And then he's going to follow up with Banshees, actually, um, after he builds the expansion. It's a really cool timing. Um, Terran players have realized, okay, I can get some map control with Hellions, but most Zergs are starting to figure out, okay, I, I, I can clean up Hellions now. They're pretty easy. And you can't really apply pressure with the Hellions. You, you just can't do it anymore. Um, so they're following up with Banshees. And Banshees, A, they can apply the pressure, and then B, after you, they get the Observers and the Spore Crawlers, they can actually deny Creep Spread, which is huge. Especially with the next patch, if you're a Terran player, I really want you to try out this style. He doesn't have to be the gas first, but try the 1-1-1 one, one, one style. Now, there is a weakness in this build. Those roach timings that Zerg love to do because they're all cheesy nerds, where they hit with the like seven roaches and a lot of lings, or not even seven roaches, sometimes they'll hit with four roaches or even three. Um, when they hit you with those roaches, this build is very vulnerable to that. You have to have the bunker with the marines in it. You have to be ready to repair. Um... It's very vulnerable to that. So here we go, seeing the reactor Hellions. Uh, Major should be throwing down the command center sometime after that. First two Hellions on the way right now. SEV being transferred. Going to be seeing the command center. Like I said, it's just a faster reactor Hellions expand. Nothing, nothing too uh, intense. Nothing crazy. Nothing, nothing. You know, oh my god, he went gas first. We need to freak out. No, just a faster reactor Hellion, which is a cute little build to do. Now, if Sordoff knows his timings, he knows that Command Center is a little delayed, sees the Reactor Hellions already, knows these are a little bit quicker. So this is a huge Ling Scout, by the way. This Ling getting to the base is so, so huge. Hey, it's not 1-1-1 one, one, one off of one base. It's not a one base all in. Alright, this isn't cheesy. But that's a huge scout from Sordoff. Uh, I have to point that out. He'll be able to get extra Queens. As you can see here, he is building a third Queen. No Spine Collar started just yet. He's building more drones right now. Putting the Queen forward. He has Lings ready to stop this. Um, usually the first two Hellions, uh, Terran player won't be ballsy enough to run into his base. Second Queen does come out. It looks like Major is, though! Oh, Major's telling Zoya, shut up. You don't know, man. <laughs> you don't know. I'm Major. I do what I want. Gonna try roasting some drones here. They are lining up very nice. A good split there from Sword of. No drones have died just yet. Only one has been killed. Well, Sword of, I'm accurate that very well. Two drones have been killed. There go up to four. No creep spread between these bases, which is huge. Oh my, Major's playing Nightcrawling so well. Swerve is doing okay at this point, but a lot of drones have been killed. And here come the reinforcing Hellions. Ling's getting a nice little grab there. Almost losing one Hellion. Will he actually lose one? Oh my god, Major's micro is so good. One of the Hellions finally does die. I bet sort of wishes that five range buff was in by now. Going for that natural base. 
Roach Ward on the way, and he lets Major see that good little grab there. Attack on those Roach. Oh my god, he's killed so many drones so far. 14 have died. Down the two Hellions. Will he get, be able to get more drone kills? There's three Queens here. It does force the Hellions to run away. Man, what... What good control there from Major. Sort of handled that pretty well. Not not the best. A couple of times, it wasn't the best control. But he he did... That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad, I have to say. Um, that could have gone way worse for him. The Roach Warren has been started, so he will probably be skipping Blue Flame on his Siege Tanks. Um, if you don't scout the Roach Warren, a lot of Terran players like to go Blue Flame. Um, because for the longest time, the Reactor Hellions were cleaned up by Blue... Uh, by Lings. Um... And a lot of people go, okay, you don't need Blue Flame versus Zerg anymore. It's three Red Flame Hellions that one-shot a drone, three Blue Flame Hellions one-shot a drone. It's the same thing. Blue Flame, guys, if it goes to a heavy Ling attack, Blue Flame devours Lings. It's so much fun to watch. Uh, it just, it, it's it's so one-sided. And t uh, Major, actually, I almost never see him go Marine Tank. I almost never see him go Marine Tank. Now, he's going to snipe this Queen there. There's so many, so many Hellions here, but the Roaches do show up. He needs to back off right away. He's actually going for Blue Flame still, before Siege Mode. I can't believe this. He needs to start that Siege Mode right away. He actually went for Blue Flame before Siege Mode. This is going to be difficult to hold. There are four Roaches moving across the map. He needs to be careful not to lose any SCVs or anything. Because right now, Major's in a nice spot. Look at Income Tab, though. 37 to 28. Oh, man. We have sort of going for the one base, or the two base all-in, guys. He's going Roach, Ling, Bane, Ling, all-in. And with sort of, or with Major going Mech, I'm... Feeling quite comfortable he can hold this as long as he builds plenty of Siege Tanks. Michael's his Hellions perfectly, and with Blue Flame halfway done, it'll be done before these Siege Tanks get here. The problem is, he still has not charged Siege, siege Check, guys. It is still not researching. The Lings are here. Did he skip speed? He does have Bailings. Bay okay, so Bailings is done. This attack will be hitting soon. Siege Check will not be done by that. Blue Flame will be done. Siege Check will not be done. This is a huge timing from Sword Up. I don't know if he's going to be able to, I don't know if Major's going to be able to hold it. It's going to come down to this Hellion Micro. If he can kill all the Lings and Banelings before they get through, but there's still so many Roaches here. And Major is going to scout it, catching these Siege Shakes and Hellions out of the open. How much damage will be done? It forces Sword of the back off. There's so many Hellions here. Actually, Sword of going to kill off a lot of Hellions here. Here comes the Banelings trying to get a huge connect there. Gonna go straight for those siege tanks. We'll even kill off one of them. Roach is coming forward, picking off a lot of siege tanks here. Major likes to do these timings where he pushes with about three siege tanks. Will that last change? So, so Major holds sort of losing a lot of units there. There's the GG he lost. Yeah, he just didn't connect. The cool thing about Major's style is, guys, he has the most... It's like his TVP. He has the most aggressive mech style ever. You never see anyone push with, like, ten Hellions and three Siege Tanks versus Zerg when you're going mech. He, he does it all the time. He'll push with three Siege Tanks, two Siege Tanks, four Siege Tanks. He'll make the most aggressive Siege Tanks. Mostly, you see mech players turtle up get Thor, so hand off Mutas, get three bases, and do a max push. But Major plays this like a TVP, where he just constantly has his aggression. He plays it like Bio, where he constantly has his aggression. It's a super fun style. Um, unfortunately, Major did too much damage to the drone count with those initial four Hellions, um, and sort of lost too many of those Banelings. The Blue Flames uh, Hellions were just devoured all the Banelings. Um, they could not get connected with the Hellions. Normally, you want to connect your Banelings with the Hellions. If the Hellions aren't microed properly, you can kill off all the Hellions. Roaches will clean up the Siege Tanks, and you're in a good position. But he was just too far behind at that point. Couldn't clean up. We're going to have a quick commercial break, guys. The map choice for sort of is GSL Metropolis. So when we get back, guys, we'll be in the next game of this best of three. Will sort of be able to make it to an ace match or will Major win 2-0? This is Playum NA $75 daily. Your caster is Zoya the Boy Kid Wonder. We'll be right back.